Hi there, it's Valerie Hall Little, the business architect. This week, I gave one of my clients a promotion. That's right, I promoted them to become the CEO of their business because before they were the chief bottleneck. They were doing everything in their business. Everything from booking their own meetings to sending out invoices. And I challenged them to take a more mindful approach as they moved through their workday and to reflect on whether the task that they were completing required their unique brilliance. Was this something that only they could do in their business because it required something of them? Or were they doing it because they could do it? And why would they pay somebody else to do something they can do? And we had this conversation because I was stretching her mind. I was really getting her to think beyond the DIY, beyond the do it yourself. And this is something I challenge a lot of my clients with because they are moving from that DIY mindset into growing their business, designing it so that it it truly is built to soar, that they can get it to that next level. And she challenged, she didn't challenge me. She, um, she resisted and she, she knew that she needed to get past this hurdle, that she was ready for that promotion. She was ready to step out of being chief bottleneck in her business of doing everything, the tiniest detail of her business and moving into that role where she would thrive. And in fact, her business would thrive because her time and her energy is much better spent in the bigger picture of her business and not kept small in the minutia of the daily grind is what I call it, the daily grind of running your business. So I want you to think about that for your own business. I share this story because um, I really want you to think about how you approach your business and your workday. Are you doing all of those tasks that don't necessarily require your unique brilliance, your unique skills and your gifts, and that uh, the things that lift you up in the day, that light you up, that fill you up, really the reason that you started your own business. It's what you love to do. You would do it all day long, even if you didn't get paid for it, because it filled you up and you love doing it. It's your passion. Or are you stuck being chief bottleneck in your business? and stuck doing those tasks, those routine tasks that are wearing you down, grinding you down, leading you more towards burnout, which is where I don't want you to be. So think about it as you move through your day. This is your homework this week and your next step, next step is to be mindful and write down all the tasks you're doing and think about whether or not these require your unique brilliance or whether this is something that you can then delegate to somebody else on your team. And if you don't have that person yet, that's totally okay. We're getting you ready to bring somebody on in your team. So that is your next step to designing your business so it's built to soar. I'll see you next time.